mark your first win as Old Trump manager. How good does that feel tonight? Yeah, look, there's no better feeling than than winning. So um, you know, I'm obviously delighted with uh, with the three points. Um, it was all about the three points tonight, and we've 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 got that one over the line. A couple of changes made, obviously James Bedding's first night when it's for him and you know Tommy Willard given the chance to start and made use of it with his first goal for the club. Yeah, definitely. Obviously we've got a few injuries at the moment, um, so you know it creates another chance for other people. Venno's come in um, and showed his quality at times today, which was, was really pleasing and I think you know our best moments probably he dictated it and got on the ball. Um, our only disappointment was we didn't show their moments of quality anywhere near enough from, from the standard that I've seen so far in the f- first two weeks from the boys. Um, I think we fell below that and we can make excuses for the pitches but we don't, we, we don't we don't want that you know it's a little bit slippy and slidey out there but um, you know we, we know we need to be better but also what I am really pleased about is how we ground that result out tonight and we're going to sh- need that um, and we you know we showed the endeavour and we showed the character that we're going to need to uh, win football matches um, and we will improve the other parts as we go along. Because obviously a team like Dover you know they're a team that's got a bit between their teeth they want to make a point you know get good results and to come here and get a result when other teams maybe haven't is a good showing from the boys and shows they can get the results they need to. Yeah, definitely. Look, they had a they had a bad result on Saturday which was very uncharacteristic from them. You know, we've watched a few games of them and we knew what what a dangerous side they are and we knew what a dangerous animal they'd be tonight, obviously after the the Saturday and if you know Andy Hessenthal as a player and a manager, you know that they were going to get a, they were going to kick tonight and they certainly did and for our liking the game was far too open. It's a bit too end to end, too ba- you know, basketball and, and a lot of them from our own enforced errors um, but like I said we dug in we worked hard and we, and we ground it out we're looking at the team today and the performance obviously look like a team that you know were confident the ball happy to take the ball in tricky areas and play out their way is that the way you see your side playing moving forward um, look you know, there's no set, set way we're still uh, early on but you know we've got to want the football I'm asking us to be brave I'm not asking us to play tippy tappy football but I want us to be brave and, and want the football um, so um, you know, like I said, they, they showed that tonight, but then we've also got to show a little bit more quality on the ball. Um, but like I said, we, we can improve that as, as we go along. We will, we will improve as a group. Like I said, it's a big transition for the boys. You know, probably a slightly different style and just some, some changes. And, and maybe you saw, you know, it was two weeks today since we've been in the job, and, and maybe you saw a, a, a little bit of our regime, maybe just pinched on the legs a little bit tonight. I felt we looked a little bit leggy, and that's because maybe the tempo's upped a little bit um, because we, we want to be... We, you know, it's so important we're doing a lot of work on the training field at the moment because we want to improve but um, you know, like I said I think it just showed a little bit maybe it just pinched tonight um, on the legs but they dug through it and that's what I wanted to see I wanted to see them you know, psychologically let's see how we stand up to this and um, you know, they held strong and they didn't give up our first goal obviously showed that we could hit teams on the counter attack as well. A brilliant move involving Toby, Corey and Tommy who obviously got his first goal for the club today. Yeah, you know, Corey Andrews laid it on and, and actually went a little bit past the Tommy had to you know, he had to show a lot of composure there and, and, he, and he duly done that and at times when we flashed in we had pl- we made plenty of opportunities um, the only trouble is is that in that transition we looked so dangerous but I felt that on the flip side so did they and that, that was you know I didn't I didn't like feeling um, that out of control of the game but when we had control of the game we looked good um, and we need to tidy up on a few areas that is for sure but like I said it, it was about character desire grit and determination tonight and, and the boys have shown that of course they responded straight after the second half started with a well taken finish of their own but again we continue pushing, continue fighting for that and Toby got the winner just, just towards the end of the second half. Yeah, I thought it was a moment of quality from Toby, the one two with, with Corey will probably claim his second assist as well. Uh, but a bit of individual quality from Toby and we needed it. We needed it and we, we need to show more moments like that. Um, and hopefully in the in the weeks to come we'll keep growing as a group, keep improving. Um, but we you know we're brutal with ourselves. You know, we know we've we, we've won tonight and shown some some great characteristics, but we've also, you know, we know we've got to improve and keep working hard. Just a note on Corey Andrews today. Obviously, you know, he's known for his getting his goals, but two assists tonight, it must be great for you to see him getting on the assist sheet as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I've had to, we had to have a shuffle in the first half, and um, to do it during the half is always tough for a manager to get that instructions out. And uh, the boys took it on, and like I said, I thought we caused some problems. And um, like I said, he's, he's moved to a slightly different position, and he, and he showed how effective he can be there too. And Mikel as well, obviously, signed today, made his debut today. 
bit of a word on him. Yeah, look, he's trained once. Uh, he's, we've thrown him onto the bench and we've thrown him straight out onto the pitch. And, um, you know, he's probably lacking a bit of match fitness. Um, but again, he, he had to come on and probably show the other side of the game that he's probably not known for as, as much. And he had to, you know, track back, and try and stop crosses and work hard. Um, and, you know, he come on and he'll definitely be better for that for those minutes. So we're getting some match minutes into him and he'll, and he'll be a lot better for that as well. And of course, we now take this game confident going into the next away game, Stockport on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. You know, this this league throws up challenges every week. There's no easy game. Like, look tonight, that was a real, real tough examination for us. Um, and, and, and again, obviously, now we go to you know, travel up north to Stockport, who are obviously a very well assembled side who, who you know, have got you know, a fantastic management team there who play a, a great calibre of football. So um, we're going to certainly be tested up there. But, you know, we can go up there, um, hopefully, a little bit more confident. And um, like I said, a couple more days training before then, and hopefully, we'll be in a better place than we are now. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.